up guys it is the muddy puddle squad here and in this video i'm going to be giving my thoughts on the sega dreamcast so a lot of people whenever they think of sega they think of really old cartridge based consoles but what they don't know is that sega actually came out with a fairly recent console it's not too recent it's not in this generation not even in the last generation but they actually came out with a fairly recent console in the early 2000s which is the dreamcast and it's actually disc-based, so it's a Sega disc-based console. That's kind of weird, but, I mean, it is true. Um, so this console, it's... I Okay, it's been named by a lot of people as a failure. I wouldn't exactly quite call it a failure, but I wouldn't exactly quite call it a great console either. That's just my own honest opinion. Um, <clears throat> so, honestly, what I think is actually cool, I love the design of it. I love the design. It has four control ports, so you can play four people. I love the controller. I mean, it just looks so cool. But the games, however, the games are very expensive. And they're just not that great. I mean, there's a lot of great... I'm going to be honest. I'm not a Sonic fan. I don't really care for Sonic. However, I'm willing to say that the Sonic games are actually great. Because a lot of people like them. I mean, they are great games. It's just, it's not... I'm not interested in the Sonic games. Um, Now, it does have some cool Disney games on it. But you can buy those Disney games for a fraction of the price. Like, you can buy those Disney games for a fraction of the price on PS1. So, I mean, same thing. They're, they're good games, but you don't need a Dreamcast to play them. Uh, in my opinion, there's only two great games for the Dreamcast. Two great exclusive games for the Dreamcast. And I would have to say those are um, Caution, Beware of Seaman, and Super Magnetic Neo are the only... Decent exclusives. I mean, you could buy tons of Disney games for this console, but, I mean, I'd rather buy them, like I said, for a fraction of the price on the PS1. So, I mean, it's not really worth it to me. But, um, anyway, yeah, it just, you know, that's just my thoughts on the Dreamcast. Will I get a Dreamcast? Will I get a Dreamcast? I will say that there is a fair chance I will get a Dreamcast, but it is so, so, so low on my priority list. It probably won't be for a long time, if I even get one. So, I wouldn't say it'll be a surprise if I get one, but it won't be quite a surprise if I don't get one. Anyway, thanks guys for checking out this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope to see all of you guys in my next video. Later!